Hello Internet, Immoderate here. Let's take a few minutes and talk about Neil Gorsuch and his confirmation hearing with the Senate Judiciary Committee. Now, this is still ongoing, and I'm sure by the time most of you watch this, the decision will have been made, but I just wanted to talk for a few minutes about uh, specifically his exchange with uh, Democratic Senator Feinstein. Feinstein's questioning of Gorsuch is a perfect example of the single-minded zealotry of the Democratic Party in its current state. She grilled him about Roe v. Wade, trying to get him to admit he is going to try to overturn it. It is understandable, given that it was a talking point from Trump during his presidential campaign. However, out of all the potential candidates in Trump's list of SCOTUS candidates, Gorsuch is one of the least partisan options. He has been known to rule in favor of the law rather than his personal political beliefs, which is exactly what everyone should want an ideal judge to do. Unfortunately, the Democrats don't believe in the law, or at least they believe in the law being to always rule in the most liberal way possible on every case. Feinstein's questioning is a perfect example of this. She asked him about Roe v. Wade, calling it a super precedent. Super precedent is a made-up term that implies that a ruling is so enshrined in legal history that it is immune from being overturned. Legal precedents in general are rulings that serve as a guide for future rulings, and naturally imply a resistance to being overturned, but it is not binding. Any ruling can be overturned at any point. Gorsuch responded by saying some platitudes about the importance of legal precedent, but didn't answer either way as he shouldn't have. She then went on to accuse him of being in bed with big corporations and being a puppet of Donald Trump. Throughout the hearing, Gorsuch maintained that, that the conservatives don't know how he is going to rule on any given case, and that any statements any of them made about how he will rule is silly. Personally, I find Gorsuch to be a good nominee, and hopefully the Democrats will put their feelings of opposing literally everything Trump does aside and confirm him, because this is just ridiculous. And there's plenty more I could talk about in this hearing, but that's just the part that jumped out and annoyed me the most at the time. What do you all think? Feel free to share your thoughts below.